finally went and bought a tripod, a little handheld tripod that I think is going to be perfect for hiking. And we're out here today in Ellensburg at the Irene Reinhardt Waterfront Park. And I'm testing it out. It's really comfortable to hold. Very minimal weight. I haven't officially put it on the scale yet to weigh it, but I, I know it doesn't weigh much at all. It's a beautiful park. First time we're gonna walk the full trail. I don't know exactly how long it is, but we'll find out. I do know that it ends at a, another park this one walks along the river, and it ends in a park uh, that has two separate ponds. Goes around the back side of one of the ponds, and there's a, an off-leash dog area. Nice fenced-in area that has water access so the dogs can swim, which is wonderful. So it's just a little test run with this new tripod. Uh, it's called an ultrapod. And it's the, there's two, at least two styles. This is the smaller of the two. So we'll give this a shot. See if we like it. And this is the first time I've used the GoPro in a little while. Kind of refamiliarizing myself with all the all the settings and the options. Uh, back to this trail we're on. I think this would be a good uh, little mini kind of you know, training trail for us. I can see us throwing some weight in our backpacks. And, Getting out here. Oh, they did clean up this blowdown. That was oh, wow. nice, yeah. Wow. There was a windstorm here last weekend when we were here and a tree, this remnants of the tree here, uh, blew down and covered this whole area of trail. So they've, they've cleaned it up pretty quick. You can see the where it snapped off right here. The one right there to your right, Sherry. This. Split. Yeah. So, oh yeah, really split. Wow. Wow. Yep. Okay. Anyway, uh, so back to this trail. Uh, I can really see us putting some weight in our backpacks and uh, doing some some good walking on this. It's level, so there's not a lot of climbing involved, but it would be good to get. Uh, comfortable carrying our packs. We made it through the first section of trail. That's been one mile already. This is the uh, first of two ponds uh, separated by a, a kind of a land bridge up ahead that way. This is really beautiful. And that's the, that's the Yakima River? Is that right? I think that's the Yakima River, I'll, I'll find out. Anyway. Hi, Ben. Yeah, it's a beautiful trail. And I'm really happy with this little tripod. The whole thing with the GoPro attached and it extended fits into the pocket of my hiking pants. So just for little small treks like this, I don't have to worry about bringing a, you know, any kind of a, a pack or a fanny pack or anything. 
I can just put it right into the front pocket of my hiking pants. It fits comfortably. There's a few other people out here today enjoying the trail. It's a beautiful, beautiful day here in Ellensburg. A little chilly, but it is November 2nd. So I'll get back with you when we uh, get up to the either the dog park area or something a little more interesting. Okay, so here's that land bridge I mentioned that connects the two sides of the pond. So, I mean, technically it's not two separate ponds. It's just split in half of the land bridge. So that takes you, and we'll find it when we go around the other side, that takes you to a parking lot on the other side that will connect with uh, the park down there where we just were where we got onto this trail here. I-90 is right there. And the fenced-in dog park area with water access is just up ahead. It's a little chilly. I don't know if we're going to let Bailey swim, but we might let her wade in and get her paws wet. We'll see. Got the river on this side here. Fenced in dog park. Bailey's already making her way down to the water's edge. I think she's probably in. She went from a, a dog who didn't really, uh, well, she was a farm dog in the beginning. And she didn't, she didn't get to go on car trips and camping outings and hikes and things. She was a farm dog. So she went from not really um, knowing how to play toys and things, not really knowing how to you know, ride in the car and all that fun stuff, had never been in the lake swimming to a dog who just absolutely loves the outdoors and loves to play loves to swim. Thoroughly enjoys a good car ride. Polar plunge. Polar plunge, that's good. Yeah, she's she's a great dog. So this is the Ellensburg off leash uh, dog park that has water access at the Irene Reinhardt park and trail system. A nice, nice big area. Not sure if you're actually seeing where the other gate is down there. But it's a big area. With the uh, water access, the fence extends down to the water's edge a little bit beyond, maybe? And yeah, this is great. So we're going to let her play a little bit and get her paws wet and then we'll continue our walk. Oh, that's a deep one. <laughs> so. so here's the roadway that we came from the other side of the pond. There's an, actually a disc golf course uh, down that way. The trail that we were on skirts just to the left and it goes around the pond here. 
walking into the sun now, so I don't know how much I can actually get good video facing forward, but we'll try. Busy I-90 right there. There's that land bridge I talked about, separating the two sides of the pond. And where that point comes out, directly in front of us here, across the pond, that's where we just were and Bailey was swimming. It is just a spectacular day here today. This is so beautiful. Really, really glad to be able to spend the weekends here in Ellensburg. We're, we're house-sitting for friends while they're traveling down south all winter. And we will be here full time uh, after January, after I'm done working. Uh, right now we're here mainly on the weekends and Sherry will pop up uh, throughout the week if need be to pick up some mail and check on things. But right now it's mostly just weekends, long weekends, uh, full time in, in January. They've got a great facility with a very, very uh, beautiful pool and a gym, a sauna. We're able to go and we're able to go and uh, swim and get some exercise, which has been great these last three, four weekends we've spent here. We've swam more in the last month than we have in the last. five, six, seven years. So we're really enjoying our time here. Bailey, I don't know if you can see her behind me. I guess there's a shooting range someplace. She heard some gunshots and now she's not happy. And we have a almost two mile walk back to the car. So hopefully she can get her head straight and figure it out because she's not happy. Not a happy dog now. Continuing on the original path back to the car. A lot of people out here today Encountered a bunch of folks walking their dogs. Learning that I really do trip over roots more often than I thought I would. <laughs> We've encountered some sections of this little trail that have some, some pretty rooty areas. And yeah, I've stubbed my toe a lot. I need to learn to pick up my feet. Ooh, and I'm just looking at this. I'm, not, I'm looking more at the ground than I am straight ahead on this. So there we go. Also, we'll learn how to use the camera better. I think we built a little, little shelter.
the stream bed under this bridge is dry today. We were here last weekend. It was flowing pretty good. Okay, so that's it. We're heading back to the car. That's a beautiful park here. here real quick. Sherry's over there with Bailey. We're in Jennifer's truck. Hope you enjoyed the video. It was fun practicing. We'll do a few more of these as time allows over the next several months. That's a trailer. And yeah, we'll get back with you later. I'm gonna go grab some water. Hope you have a wonderful day. Stars gonna outrun the rain. The trail is long, it's rocky and it's steep, and there's a chance we'll lose our way. But I've been searching for something real to keep, and in my dreams I got so much to say. Out here on the road, I see unfold they show me what the singing's all about in harmony we'll find that sweet sunshine i've come so far no telling where i'm bound gonna outrun the rain gonna